Except Jesus is your Lord and Savior. <laughs> On the <Real> show. <laughs> um, Are you religious at all? I'm not. I'm, I would say I generally agree with the teachings of Christianity, but I'm not religious. Like, I agree with... Do you like, believe in a higher power? And, like, you know, like, like, turn the other cheek and love the neighbor as thyself and that kind of thing. I think those are good principles. The teachings of, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think good principles. But do you believe in, like, a god or, like, a higher power? Well, something created the universe. Or the universe is here. How did it come to be? Um, you could say whatever caused the universe to come to be is god or... You know, gods, depending on your view. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I think w- as a philosophy that I, a philosophy that I think makes sense is to go out there and to, is to expand consciousness so that we're better under better able to to answer the questions of like what is the meaning of life, what is the nature of the universe, what are even the right questions to ask, and if we can expand consciousness, more humans and more digital intelligence then our opportunity to understand the meaning of life is is that much greater. Deep. And so I would call, like I said, like I have the philosophy of curiosity to understand the nature of reality. So you, you've never practiced any religions? Um, uh, no, I was, uh, you know, I was sent to, a, weirdly, a Hebrew preschool. I'm not Jewish, but I, my dad sent me there because it was like nearby and I guess his partners in his engineering firm they sent their kids there so um so i was at hebrew preschool and then uh anglican sunday school and so it was like having a yellow one day and jesus hello the next you know so but, but I, I would say that i you know was i've never been particularly religious do you have an answer for what the meaning of life is what your meaning of life is well i think the the, the currently the thing to do is to expand the expand humanity and and consciousness to the point where we are able to answer that question. Um, I don't think we can answer that question yet. We can't answer what's the meaning of life well yet. I find that so interesting how it's like, you know, we're technically like the most intelligent species on the planet, so to say, but we can't even, no one on this planet can explain like, or provide evidence of like our existence or how we were created. I find that so, in, you know what I mean? Like, it could be very no one on this planet could say, how were we created? That's why I feel like there has to be some sort of higher power, you know? Like, we're not smart enough to even explain our own existence. Well, we, we can say step by step, based on the archaeological evidence, the fossil record, and what we know of physics, how we came to be at this point. Um, so, but that doesn't explain how the universe came to exist in the first place. There had to be like something at some point. Like we can't even yeah. grasp that, right? Or is there some well, evolution, some higher no. dimension on which thought and emotion exist? I don't know. Um, like how do molecules have consciousness and feelings? But I, like, is there a happy ending here? Uh, like uh, <laughs> um, the uh, Revelations Part Two, the happy ending. Uh, <laughs> Well, you know, if there's like a really good book you think everyone should read because it would be in the back of the Bible. Everyone should read this book. Yeah. Okay, how many people have actually read the Bible? <laughs> Fewer than probably say they have, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean... Do you have I, I, I mean, at one point, I, I, you know, when I was a kid, I was like, I had this existential crisis and I was trying to figure out what's the meaning of life. And I was like, oh, it all means nothing. It's all... And, and, I, and I, you know, read like a whole bunch of religious books, including the Bible. And I'm like, there was a bunch of things in there they didn't teach you in Sunday school. <laughs> uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, dark. Yeah, and God sure changes his mind uh, <laughs> from the Old Testament to the New Testament. I'm like, whoa, that's pretty vengeful in the Old Testament. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> you get to pick a book to add to the Bible. Yeah. A book, uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay. Uh, yeah, good pick. It's a great book. Yeah, great, it's book. great book. And accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. <laughs> On Real the show. <laughs> um... Personal Lord and Savior. It's a quick prayer. <laughs> I mean, let's just say, like, I agree with the principles that Jesus advocated. You know, there's some, some, there's great wisdom in what in, in the te- teachings of, of Jesus, uh, and I agree with those teachings. Um, and things like turn the other cheek are are very important because, as opposed to an eye for an eye. Um, an eye for an eye leaves everyone blind. 
So forgiveness, you know, is important and um, treating people as you would wish to be treated. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Very important. As, yes. <laughs> as Einstein would say, I believe in the God of Spinoza. But hey, if, um, you know, if, if, if Jesus is, is uh, saving people, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't stand in his way, you know, like, I'll be sure. I'll be safe, why not? Sweet, we did it. Yeah. I think you just said yes. We got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> 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 we got him. Sounds good. You want to get baptized or anything? Yeah. <laughs> Baptized. Oh, okay. Anglican, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's done. They, they got him they got in the water when it was just a baby. Cool. <laughs> this is like... Second? Yeah. I, I even had, like, you know, whatever, the whatever, blood and body of Christ. It was kind of weird, you know, if you little kid, like, you get to give you some weird-tasting, you know, biscuit and, uh, and wine. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell is this? I remember thinking that even at age five. So, I was like, you know. And I was definitely like, you know, Sunday school there, like, when they were telling me all the stories, and I was like asking questions, and like, and they really were upset that I was asking questions. <laughs> and I was like, you know, how, Jesus like fed the crowd with like five loaves of bread and three fish, and I'm like, how big was the crowd? And and like, where did the fish and bread come from? Did like, from his cloak or something? Like, because <laughs> I was like reading books, and and I was like, is this like. Did they materialize? Did it come, like, come out like, I don't know. Where did it come from, you know? Like, how did it... Would you, like, take a bite of the bread and would just... The, you know, the bread would just come back to being a full bread? Yeah, you look away and it's kind of... The mechanics of it out, were, were yeah. They left out the details. You're trying to where did the universe come from? Killed, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying I know all the answers here. I'm just, uh... Hmm. You know, it's just, uh... The, and, and, like, Jesus was obviously very pro-alcohol, you know, because one of his miracles was turning water into wine. Hmm. Yeah, and then it was like they were having a party. They ran out of wine, and they're like, "Let's keep this bender going." <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> who, 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 can, who can solve the problem? We're out of white cloth. <laughs> Friggin' stores closed. <laughs> Jesus, is like, I got gotcha. you. Okay, water now wine. I like party on. You know? <laughs> so uh, you know, accurate <laughs> pro partying with alcohol is literally it's one of the miracles. Bible story time. Like, Elon Musk. You're like you are the. It's like you're definitely you're the savior. You just <laughs> you kept the party going with lots of wine. That's great. I would say I generally agree with the teachings of Christianity, but I am not religious. Like I agree with. Do you like, believe Tony in a higher Archie power? And like you know. Like, for, like turn the other cheek and love the neighbor as myself and that kind of thing. I think those are good principles. The teachings of like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think good principles. But do you believe in like a God or like a higher power? Well, something created the universe or the universe is, you know, here. How did it come to be? Um, you could say whatever caused the universe to come to be is God or, you know, God's depending on your view. I, I don't know. I think as a philosophy that I, a philosophy that I think makes sense is to go out there and to, is to expand consciousness so that we're better under better able to, to answer the questions of like what is the meaning of life what is the nature of the universe what are even the right questions to ask and if mm -hmm. we can expand consciousness more humans and more digital intelligence then our uh, opportunity to understand the meaning of life is is that much greater Deep. And so I would call, like, say, like, I have the philosophy of curiosity that, to understand the nature of reality. So you, you've never practiced any religions? So the, the reason is that when I was uh, a teenager, I had, like, an existential crisis to try to figure out what's the meaning of life. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any meaning. Um, for me, at least, the religious texts, and I read all of them that I get my hands on did not seem convincing. Um, so then I'm like, okay. Then I started reading the philosophers. Um, kind of, you know, be careful of like reading German philosophers as a teenager. It's definitely not going to help with your <laughs> depression. <laughs> so reading Schopenhauer and Nietzsche, I'm like, oh. as an adult, it's much more manageable. But uh, as a kid, you're like, whoa. Um, so, so then I was like, man, I, I'm just like struggling to find meaning in life here. And, and then I read uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And basically what Douglas Adams was saying is that we don't really know what the right questions are to ask. Like the question is not, 
uh, What's the Meaning of Life. Um, you know, uh, in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in the, <laughs> Earth, Earth, it turns out, is a big computer, that's, and, and its goal is to uh, answer the question, what's the meaning of life, and, and Earth comes up with the answer 42. Uh, this is where the 42 number comes from. Okay. And 420 is just 10 times 42. Yeah. Uh, so, so what? So, uh, in in that book, where the, which is really sort of a book about, it's an existential philosophy book, uh, disguised as as humor. Do you have a spiritual life? Uh, well, it sort of depends on what spiritual means. I mean, so, I mean, I mean, maybe there's some some dimension where thoughts exist or something. Because I don't, you know, what is a thought? What is a I mean, is it? I mean, I'm not sure what what thoughts are. Uh, you know, whether there's some some manifestation of thought in in a way that uh, you know is different from the, the physical dimensions we're aware we're aware of. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's certainly uh, things that we we don't understand about the universe. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm less convinced that there's say um, some some super consciousness watching over our every movement and kind of evaluating it against some criteria. You know, and deciding whether we're going to go to one place or another when we die. Mm -hmm. I think that's unlikely. I think that's very unlikely, right. too. That's, I, I personally do believe in God, but I don't define God in that way. I would define God as closer to being like science right. or the energy, the laws that propel science, because science really quantifies. So what is it quantifying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, and, and, and it does beg the question, if there is some super consciousness, consciousness where did the super consciousness come from? So I think the, the most likely explanation is uh, that uh, complexity evolved from simplicity. Okay. What do you worship? Well, I, I don't really worship anything, but I, I do devote myself to the advancement of humanity uh, using technology. Do you pray? I don't. I didn't even pray when I, when I almost died of malaria. Wow, that's really not praying. Right. So you put your money where your bug spray was. I had this like existential crisis when I was a kid and, uh, and tried to figure out what's it all about. And, kind of, and none of the books I read seemed to actually have a good answer. You know, so I, said, I read all the religious texts and I read a bunch of philosophy books and they're all quite depressing, um, <laughs> particularly the Germans. Actually, when I read uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I thought, okay, this is a pretty good one. Um, you know, just to sort of try to uh, gain greater enlightenment over time, that seems like a good goal. Because we don't really know what the meaning of, the, of, the, of life is.